Neil, who are you? Tell us, tell us about yourself. I am William, William Onahan Gallery the Third. I am a fairly large man with a big, bushy red beard. Uh, I'm fairly jovial, but also quite swift when it comes to things like justice and honor and whatnot. I, I take those very seriously, <laughs> but I take life fairly lightly. I see not why that aged squire, Sir William, should be at the fore. I'll know he fights most brutishly with an axe rather than with the knight's true weapon, the sword. Why, I heard it said just recently that he is descended of Saxon stock, whence he derives his preference in weaponry. Ah, have you not heard about Sir William? He has a bastard son off some commoner wench, likely some Saxon whore captured in battle recently, I'll wager. Yes, Sir William is not a man to be trusted. You would do well. I just interrupt him and say, you watch your tongue. (laughs) Ah, he says, my tongue is carefully guarded, my friend. Take care, you do not wish to see Undoubtedly behind those misshapen teeth of yours. Ah, and like Don't the entire room was, oh, If you do not shut your face. mouth, I will challenge you to a duel. And I take off a glove. Fa, an old man like yourself, Stop. I accept. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Sir William, take care. We're not here to fight to the death, but uh, I agree this man has insulted your honor most grievously. It would, be, it would do you well to right this wrong. I won't kill the lad. Just scare him a little. Knock him down a few times, make him learn his place. You hear his name is Palor? He shouts a cry, and he shouts, Earl Roderick, I will purge your knighthood of this Saxon blood. You are knocked immediately to your knees, and a bright spray of blood comes out all over his sword. And he stands there, his chest heaving, and he says, Do you yield? You've taken seven To scum and liars like you? I do not. He kicks you. And you get knocked directly to the ground on your back. And he takes his sword and he shoves it through your chest. And he (laughs) says, die, Saxon cur, as your life's blood flows forth out of your body over this sword. So uh, on the eve of, of battle, of leaving for war... Sir William is slain in a duel (laughs) against some nameless knight from the court of Earl Roderick. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my name is Philip. Philip. Philip Daly Gallery. <laughs> and um, how do you feel about the loss of your older brother? Um, I'm not too happy about it. And if I weren't so politically motivated, I would seek revenge. But I think he will probably get vengeance through uh, back doors. Sir Philip, what are you known for amongst the lands? Um, my 18 appearance, my Uh-oh. long red hair in a braid and freckles. Uh, how about your traits? Do you have any surprisingly strong traits? Prudent. Uh. <laughs> High prudence, low recklessness. <laughs> I'm also going to roll for my hatred of Saxons. Awesome. <laughs> Six. I do uh, not like the Saxons. Your family just doesn't really, doesn't really mind the Saxons for some strange reason. <laughs> Uh, we they love got... our enemies. They give us something to do. You, Have you, you seen wander... that tree, Philip? I swear that we saw that tree before. Maybe we should start marking where we, we've uh, gone. Uh, you know, kind of like Hansel and Gretel. Saxon. What are you, a bloody Saxon? <laughs> Talking about Hansel and Gretel? Tribes. Yeah. You're calling me a Saxon? There's rumors spouting about in the court about you? Hmm. Yes, very good. And Sir Philip... Do you feel that there is anything in your history, perhaps anything in your family history, that leads you to be against the throne? If you threaten me, accuse me of being a Saxon one more time, I will beat you senseless regardless I of your manner. Philip, this is a man of God. I Calm yourself. I don't know why you are so reactionary. No, no, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're hinting Father, at. Father, please. Don't I'm... bring that shit around here. <laughs> This is do very not do out that. of character. Do this not... is very out of character. I do apologize, sir. Do not sully my family name any further. I, By I like, insinuating I like... such things, you are slandering my family. I and put that my is hand up and turn to the rest of the group, and I just have this regard, probably beaming. Sm- you know, get everyone's attention and say, if anyone has anything to say about my family and Saxons, come and say it to my face right now. I do not. Oh, I'm tired oh. of these whispers. Bring it on. We can have a duel. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. 
Anyone. A knight stands up in the back of the room, <laughs> and he says, I put down your brother. Let's I'll go outside right now. As well. Oh, shit. And it is Sir Palor. Sword gleams in the red light of the twilight, and he says, Your family... Your family is tainted with sex and blood, and I will put you down just as I did with Sir William. I <laughs> walk up to him and I put my sword through his face. Oh my god, okay. You just no, like, stab him he's dead. through the face? Um, he's on his back, right? You bet. Yeah. Yeah, just okay. through the face, like through the mouth. Um, Almost like you're trying. Oh, what what is that awful? They do it in American history. Yes, um, curb stop stomp? curbing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. As if you, you like, could do that with the sword. Just put your sword yeah. in his mouth and then stomp on it. Yeah, awesome. Something okay. along those lines. Something unknightly and evil. Anyone else want to say anything about my family? A massive bear-like knight stands up in the back of the crowd and he shoulders his way forwards. He's wearing massive chainmail that looks like it's had extra links added everywhere in order to accommodate his size. He says, yeah, I've got something to say about your family. All right, I go pick up my shield again and my sword. <laughs> he comes over to you. He claps you on the shoulder. He says, you've got a hell of a family, son. Well fought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> anyone else? Sir, Next like time you. anyone says anything about my family being Saxon, to me, around me, subtly, not subtly. I point to the body. Mm. You are in my house. And if you do not leave this instant, I will slay you where you stand. You run him through the chest, and a gout of blood sprays out of his mouth. Whoa. <laughs> and um, two doors burst open. And uh, there are two knights who run into the room in full armor with swords drawn, and they see you just, like, wipe the body off of your sword and, like, slam it to the ground. And then you just, like, stab it in the face for good measure. I would like to call on my passion of family, my love of family. Absolutely. And uh, destroy these people. <laughs> I, I don't recognize either of these knights, right? No, you don't. Yeah. I'll assume they're this bastard who's dying on the floor, and I, I would like to... Roll for my little pash family. Do it. It's a 19, so it's going to be hard to fail. Please roll it. Oh! oh! <laughs> oh! oh and my you hit a 20. Neil, never. He, you're oh never my god, you that. guys. Okay, you Twitch never chat, I am say that. so excited about this. Okay. You never say that. So, Neil, just, Neil, you never say that. You know that. Just as you're about. To like murder these people, your mother opens the door and she says, Philip, my son, what have you done? And you see this shock of horror on her face oh, as she looks fuck. down on her husband in love and sorrow at this dying man <laughs> gurgling on the floor. And just this dread soaks your skin like your entire body goes hot and then cold, and you just, like, drop your sword, and you just, like, unbuckle all of your armor, tear off your clothes, and jump out the window, <laughs> and then go running off into the forests behind Dinton. Well, see you guys later. That was a good session. Uh, good sir, can you tell us what's going on here? Ah, so you know not then. Well, it turns out that... Uh, Lady Gwynded's uh, long-lost son, Sir Philip, came back into the house, or some strange man claiming to be Sir Philip, and ran through uh, Sir Brangor with a uh, sword, uh, defenseless, not even in his armor, not even a chance to defend himself, simply murdered him, and then leapt out the window after tearing off his clothes and ran into the forest. I Jesus. sometimes... Sometimes at night you can still hear the man wailing <laughs> in the woods. You know what they say, those Saxons simply go crazy at any, uh, at any moment. You never know. You should count yourself lucky you're no longer traveling with such a Saxon bastard as Sir Philip. <laughs> From the woods nearby, and like, birds fly up. 
And all of the guards immediately tense and like grab their swords and they say, Halt! The mad Saxon is near. We must be on guard. I hate you, Steve. <laughs> Perhaps we should just go look for Sir Philip. So the as you say what you said, Sir Quinn, about going and, and finding this, this man, is the knight who, who you're speaking with, he puts a hand on your shoulder and he says, No. The mad Saxon will slay you as surely as he'd slayed Sir Brangor. He is wild. He has a sword that's ten feet long. His muscles bulge with Saxon rage. His hair is burning red and curly and long. You would go hunt down the mad Saxon? Why, Sir Knight, surely I have never known one as valorous as yourself. Godspeed. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, protect you in the wilderness of the woods, in the darkness of the depths, as the mad Saxon hunts you down step by step through the thorny woods, chases you, and then splits up in your chest and drinks your blood. <laughs> Good Sir Knight, I need you to know that man who slew my husband was not my son. I know my son, I know his look, and that face was not his face. It was a face of rage. A Saxon face. <laughs> and, and she like... <laughs> she pauses for a second, puts her hand over her mouth. And... <laughs> and like birds fly up and the entire forest goes silent. You find like a spot in the woods where like all sorts of branches have been torn up. Uh, and there's like scraps of clothing all over the ground. Uh, and you say to yourself, aha, surely if there were a place that looked like a mad Saxon's lair, this would be it. You guys wander through the forests for a while, uh, completely lost. And, and Sir Quinn is like, oh, look, another scrap of cloth. I think there's a Saxon over here. Or, you know, he might not say it quite like that, but that's the general meaning. Neil. Yes. Are you at all interested in playing the role of the the elite huntsman who can track down anyone through the woods? Uh, sure, why not? Tell me, what villainous scum are we seeking today? Perhaps you have heard of the Mad Saxon. The Mad Saxon. <laughs> Please, um, hold your tongue, for he is also a dear friend of mine, and I'm looking to uh, save him. You, you lead them stealthily through the brush, like not, not rustling a single uh, leaf, not stepping on a single twig until you like pull apart the branches right in front of you. And there in like the water of a stream with like twigs sticking out of his hair all over and like he's like cobbled together clothes out of leaves is Sir Philip just sitting there in the stream like washing himself and muttering. I'm a Saxon. Call me a Saxon, will you? Stab you in the face. He sits up and looks in your direction and sniffs. He goes, Saxon blood will flow. Does he just stand there and scream, or does he? Yeah, that's all he does. Uh, I, I approach and I'm just like, Sir Philip, are you there? Can you, do you know who I am? Saxon uh, blood! <laughs> exactly. His eyes sort of go in two different directions. <laughs> ah! And uh, he, he just shouts, I smell a Saxon! And he like runs at you with this massive great sword over his shoulder. Is Quinn I'm dead? Yeah. Uh, I need to double check, but I think he is. I, I don't see how I can't be. No! <laughs> Quinn was the only one to back me. Quinn was the only one to support me when everyone else was calling me a Saxon. I see Philip cleave into Quinn, and he just drops, right? It looks very bad. Yeah. I, I turn to Lunette to the best of my ability and say, like, this is no longer our friend. And I go and fully attack Philip. He's got to die. Like, there, okay. there's yeah. no use saving this yeah. man. Uh, you cleave him in two and split his skull open, and his brains splatter all over the floor, and this huge greatsword topples and, like, sticks point first in the ground, um, and you see, like, Saxon runes written on the side of it. I would ask Nud what he has seen today. 
He says, what did I just see? I just saw the mad Saxon cleave in half your, your companion, and then you struck him down with your sword. Most honorably, Sir Knight, thank you for destroying the mad Saxon and protecting the realms. By the way, Stephen, beware. Anytime you ever play in a game that I DM, you're oh, fucked. Oh, I'm going to get so killed. Oh, I'm dead. Fucked. <laughs> oh, no, oh man. I'm looking you two are hilarious, to too. It's going to be good. 